Konnichiwa. Shacho Tony Allo here at the Long Island Budokai Humble Dojo of the North American Buge Society. Uh, this is the next video in the series that we're doing on the defensive weapons of the samurai of feudal Japan. The topic I would like to discuss today is the junte and junte jitsu. The word junte, if we break it in half, the first part, the ju, uh, means the number 10. If we look at te, the second part, it literally means hand. So junte means 10 hands, or the power of 10 hands. Uh, in Edo period Japan, the junte was a substitute for a badge, and uh, most representatives carried it for uh, official business. The junte was carried by um, all level of police law enforcement, uh, also carried by all high-ranking samurai police. What we'd like to do now is maybe take a look at the uh, junte and cover some of the parts of it. If we look at the junte, the bosen, which is the shaft part, can either be round and smooth or multi-sided. The uh, kage, which is the hook portion here, we see, and then we have the suka, which is the handle. We also have the senten, which is the tip. Sometimes the tip could be pointy or sometimes it could be flat. We have the kan at the back, which is the small little circle. From this circle, there usually is a string that would hang with a tassel on it. The string and tassel comes in different colors. The different colors denoted the various positions of either the law enforcement or the samurai, um, and those colors told what rank they actually were. The jute itself is usually 12 inches uh, to 24 inches in length. Uh, the jute could be quite elaborate with a very fancy inlay or it could be rather plain. Um, that had to do with the person that was carrying it and what their intent actually was. There's a misconception about the junte that the kage is used to actually block the blade of a sword. This is, can actually be done, but in essence it's not because the uh, proximity of the hand to the kage um, can make that uh, rather difficult. What we want to look at here is the um, bosen, actually, is the part of the weapon that's used to hit the blade. Once the, the bosen hits the blade, then we can block and arrest the blade itself. The kage part is actually used, in reality, for either hooking clothing, uh, hooking the nose, hooking the mouth. If we take the junte, and turn it the opposite way, we can use it for either striking, blocking, or the kage could actually even hook onto the thumb. If we uh, look a little deeper, we could see that the, the junte actually could also be used as a baton or some type of a short stick weapon for hitting large muscle groups or actually joint manipulation. In feudal Japan, it was a, a, a crime punishable by death for a samurai to carry a sword in the shogun's palace. This even included the palace guards. So the, the junte proved to be a very practical weapon and effective for the uh, guards of the shogun. Um, and this was the weapon that they um, chose as their choice to carry when they were in the palace. Uh, this was a, a, a great symbol for the samurai or the gods to carry this and um, it was again I say a weapon that was uh, basically preferred by many of the gods. Keeping this in mind we're going to take a look at a, a couple of techniques now in our lineage uh, Ogara Yuha and um, kind of see how we use the junte in that type of a situation. Thank you very much. Thank you.